Have you ever noticed that some airport runways are not flat, but have the appearance of being wavy or undulated? Although most runways appear flat from a distance or when looking at them side on, if you look down the runway from end to end, especially using a telephoto lens, this perspective compresses the view and exaggerates any wavy undulations. While many runways have minor imperfections, there are some that are noticeably wavy. Runways are typically built to follow the natural contour of the land, which can result in slight undulations. But some runways are designed to be an odd shape to fit into a small area, such as on an island or at the top of a mountain, such as the runway at Courchevel Airport, which services a ski resort in the French Alps. Courchevel Altiport is one of the most challenging airports to land at due to its short runway and steep gradient. It has a horizontal area at the bottom and top, and a short stretch of runway in the middle going uphill. Planes could land up or down the runway, but landing up the runway is best, as it is very short and going uphill helps slow the plane down. Even though the types of planes that typically land there are small aircraft and helicopters, I found someone who likes to fly Microsoft Flight Simulator and for a bit of fun, he test landed every size aircraft on that runway and after various attempts, he managed to land everything up to and including a Boeing 747 and even an Antonov, which is the largest plane in the world. Now I am not suggesting a flight simulator game proves you could land large planes on a small runway, but it just goes to show even though a runway is small and has a weird shape, it can be landed on by a variety of planes, at least theoretically. Most airport runways aren't perfectly flat due to several practical reasons related to safety, drainage, and construction constraints. Also, the topography of the area can lead to natural undulations in the runway, as they are often built on available land that may not be perfectly flat. Airports are built on large tracts of land that may have natural variations in elevation. Flattening the entire area to create a perfectly level runway would be prohibitively expensive and potentially environmentally damaging. Instead, runways are constructed to follow the natural contours of the land within acceptable limits. A modern full-length runway can be 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers long. Besides, from a few very flat places on Earth like Salt Lakes, you will hardly find any terrain that has a perfectly flat stretch of land over such distance. Plus, runway designers cannot even freely choose the runway orientation as most runways are built along with the prevailing wind direction, so planes are taking off and landing into headwinds, which means they choose the best piece of land that is available to build on, regardless of how flat it is. You could try and bulldoze and compact the terrain to be flat if time and money was no object, but even with modern engineering techniques, perfect flatness over long distances is challenging to achieve. But pilots are trained to be aware of the specific characteristics of the runways they use, including any known undulations, and adjust their takeoff and landing techniques to account for them. Plus, some aircraft are equipped with enhanced vision systems which improve the pilot's ability to see the runway and detect any significant undulations or obstacles. Overall, the combination of pilot skill, aircraft design, advanced technology and thorough maintenance practices ensures that runway undulations are managed effectively, minimizing their impact on flight operations. But even though most airport runways are not perfectly flat and have slight elevations from start to end or have some minor undulations, there may only be one wavy airport runway that people keep seeing in pictures or videos, and that's runway 33 at Birmingham in the UK. Runway 33 is famous for being overly wavy and is featured a lot in videos and pictures online. If you do a Google search for bumpy runways, pretty much all the photos and videos are of this runway. But that's not to say other runways are not wavy or undulating also, it's just not as obvious. Part of the reason for why this runway is so wavy is because it was built in 1939 over an old landfill site. This foundation can lead to uneven settling over time, causing the surface of the runway to become wavy. The decomposition of waste and the shifting of the landfill material can result in subsidence, affecting the runway's smoothness. Another reason it may have become wavy over time is because Birmingham Airport is situated in an area with varying soil compositions, including clay which can expand and contract with moisture changes and can lead to differential settling and cause undulations in the runway. 
Additionally, the runway's original construction in 1939 may not have fully anticipated the current volume and weight of modern aircraft. The runway has been subjected to heavy aircraft traffic and the weight and frequency of aircraft landings and takeoffs can cause deformation. But if you watch a plane going down the runway from the cockpit's point of view, you do not notice the undulations at all. It appears flat. Spoiler. The reverse screen diesel. But the idea of this video was not to give you a detailed explanation on why runways are wavy or why runway 33 is really wavy, but to point out all runways have wavy imperfections and elevation changes. But when you are thinking of a wavy runway, you may actually only be thinking of one runway, and that's the famous runway 33 at Birmingham in the UK.